If you're buying a new construction home in Austin, it's important that you pick out a home that is absolutely one that you love, but it's also important to keep in mind what this home's potential resale value is, because even though you love this home, it's a good chance at some point in the future, you'll probably have to sell it again. So in this video, I'm going to break down four main things you should know about when you're factoring in your new home's resale value. So one of the things you should be aware of when you're buying a new construction home is that generally it takes longer for a new construction home to appreciate in value than one that's already in an established neighborhood. Now the reason for this is because you are competing against the builder itself. So let's say you buy a new construction home, you went into the model, fell in love with the floor plan, you designed it just the way you like it, but life happens, maybe you change jobs, circumstances in your family change, and suddenly you have to sell it. You're in for a world of hurt if that model home is still there and they're still selling that same floor plan. Because what's going to happen is all of the buyers that look at your home in the market are going to say, okay, it's nice, but the carpet's a little worn out. It's two years old. I don't like the paint color they put in here. They're going to then go back to that model and work a deal to get that same floor plan, but in a new fresh version, that's just for them. So generally your home is going to appreciate in value once the builder is out of the neighborhood. Now, in some cases we have huge master plan communities that can take 10 or 12 years to finish out. So if you bought at the beginning, you don't have to wait all the way till the whole neighborhood is complete, but at least hang on to your home until the builders finish out a couple of phases, because normally after a few years, their prices will go up. And as long as you can stay below the cost of a new home, you'll have a better chance of selling in the future. Keep in mind that builders also throw tons of incentives, design upgrades, closing costs, all kinds of things that you won't be able to throw in when you're just a single individual homeowner trying to sell on your own. Second thing to be aware of is when you're building new, don't over upgrade compared to all your neighbors. Now there could be an exception. Again, if this is your dream home, you plan on living there for the next 20, 30 years, then go for it. Make it a home that you truly love. But if you start upgrading your home where maybe all the homes in your area are worth $500,000, most have quartz counters, they have wood floors downstairs, but you decide that your home is going to have marble, it's going to have the most expensive floors you've ever seen, you're going to upgrade every single feature in the home, and so now your home is 650, where all the neighbors have the exact same floor plan with different designs that are 500, you're also gonna have a really hard time selling that home. Now I have had one client that did this, he decked out his home, put in the marble countertops, put in every upgrade to make it something that he truly loved. And I told him, you know, at the time it, it didn't even appraise when he bought it and he was okay with it. He's like, this is my forever home. And I told him, as long as you plan on staying with it, go for it. I mean, what he built was a beautiful home, but definitely I said, if you're going to plan on selling it in two years, don't call me <laughs> because there's no way I'm going to help you get all that money back. The odds are the average buyer looking probably may not appreciate all the design elements and upgrades that you thought were so spectacular. Everyone has their own individual taste. So try to upgrade the things that most buyers are looking for that are going to hold their value. So that's the third thing to think about is what is going to hold its value. The most important thing to us is the land. And we always advise our buyers that the lot that you choose to build on is something that you can never change. So investing in a lot that has a view or room for a pool or just more privacy is always something that is desirable in the long run instead of focusing on the lot that's not so great and you spend your money on the insides. If you can invest a little more in the land, you will hold more value in the future than the cosmetic things, which can kind of come and go out of style. Now, if you are upgrading also on the inside, focus on the main areas that sell the home. So that would be the main living room area, which is great to have a wow factor, like a nice fireplace or a really nice flooring. 
The kitchen is the biggest thing that can also help in resell value. So invest a little more upgrading that area as well as the primary owner suite and bath. Now, the last thing is also remember that certain things are very timeless and classic. They'll always hold their value. Trendier things can lose their value very quickly and make your home look dated. So picking more neutral colors and materials that are always you know, going to hold their value, like beautiful wood floors in the main living area is going to be a long-term upgrade that will probably be desirable 10, 15 years from now you know beautiful kitchen cabinets and neutral stone type of countertop can also hold its value but something that's really trendy like for a while a couple years ago it was really popular to do navy blue cabinets all in the kitchen with white counters and gold brassy handles that design i'm not sure how it became popular but we saw it everywhere for about a year or so and now it is completely out of style same thing um, for a while, it was super popular to put really busy tile backgrounds, kind of a farmhouse style, but ones that had a really busy pattern and we would see it in model homes all over the kitchen wall, dining room, even in the bathrooms. That style has definitely come and gone and I can see now when clients are selling those homes that that's the first thing the buyers are wanting to do is let's rip out all of that backsplash. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to redo the bathroom floors. Whereas just a couple of years ago, that would have been the trendy thing that everyone loved. So if you love a trend, again, go for it if you're planning on staying there for a while, but just know that in five, 10 years, that can make your home look really dated and it may not be what the buyer is looking for. So classic timeless designs that are popular for the next several decades are always going to hold their value. Of course, like I said, every situation is different and we always want our buyers to end up with a home that they love but we definitely will give advice along the way and especially if you ask us will this help my home in resale value i will tell you firsthand what buyers typically look for in a home and and the biggest thing again is how long are you going to hang on to that home because new construction always takes you know longer to appreciate as long as that builder is there once the builder is gone, that's when we really see the value of those new homes go up because now you're in an established neighborhood and the only competition is resale competition. So if you think you're planning on being in that home a long time and it's something that you love, then definitely go for it. We're here to guide you throughout that process though.